Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maggie and this is Maggie Budgets and Plans, the channel dedicated to my journey to pay down debt using the zero-based budget and cash envelope systems. Um, in today's video, we are going to go ahead and go through my budget check-in, the process by which I look at my bank account, the bills that still need to come out, my debit card purchases, do any cash and stuffings that need to happen, and just generally make sure I'm staying on track. If any of those things interest you, go ahead and stick around. everybody I hope you've all had a wonderful day it's been a long day for me and Miss Nova is locked up in the bathroom right now because she's been a little bit of a brat so if you hear her meowing I'm so sorry but I've tried filming this video four times and she will not um, leave stuff alone so she's got to get locked up for this one let's go ahead and jump into the budget check-in so for those of you who are new to my channel this is the process by which I double check everything that's making sure every all the bills that are coming out of my bank account are coming out in the correct way. Um, any debit card purchases I've made, I will account for in any cash on stuffings so that stuff can go back to the bank. So I've already got things started by, I went through and I marked off any of the bills that have come out of my bank account and then the total amount that came out. So my Acorn savings came out, that was the expected, Apple Music expected, Upstart, Upgrade, both of those were the same normal amounts. This acorn saving was all good. The only thing that was a little different was my health insurance. I have no idea why, but my premium went down a lot for next year. I'm not 100% sure that's accurate. Um, I still got to do some follow up with that, but they did withdraw my premium for January and it was only $34.10 and I budgeted 96. So that's quite a difference, which is pretty good because I've been doing quite a bit of debit card spending for Christmas. The other thing that I just want to let you guys know is the last time we did this budget check-in video, some stuff still hadn't been withdrawn from this paycheck that I budgeted for December 1st. Those things, my student loan payment, I went ahead and processed manually because they just were not withdrawing it. And I don't know why, but I did that myself. And then the debt snowball payment, I made that. So this, these sheets are all good and done. We don't need to reference them anymore. And then for the debt snowball payment, I did go ahead and mark it on my debt payment tracker. So I still owe $325.70 on this Capital One card, um, which I intend to pay off um, tomorrow if everything goes well with this budget check-in because I got some bonus money, so I should be good to pay that off, but we got to make sure all the numbers and the math adds up. So to start with, I'm going to stick my little post-it over there to the side. We are going to go ahead and add up the total amount that I've spent on debit cards. Um, yeah, so we've got Etsy, which is for Christmas. Target and Target are both like household and Christmas. These Targets are wrapping paper and all of that stuff. This PayPal purchase was an unplanned one. It's a sub thing that's on an auto renewal for my antivirus and computer cleanup software. And I intended to cancel it. I had missed the reminder notification that it was going to be withdrawn. I did contact the um, company Avast and they said that they'd be getting me a 50% refund for this. So I'm still waiting for that to hit my bank. But until then, I've got to account for the $71 that was unplanned. This is Christmas gift, and then this last item is Kindle for a book for me. All right, so let's go ahead and bring the iPad over and get these all added up. 2369 plus 2410 plus 722 plus $5 plus 4220 plus $71. 20 plus 28.99 plus 752. Oof, that's a big number. So I went over budget. Well, I spent, I shouldn't say it that way. I debit, I spent with my debit card $209.92. So I've got to get that back into the bank but I am going to start by adding up what's left to come out of my bank account so I can know that this amount so my car insurance payment hasn't come out yet plus 126 plus 69 plus 18 all right so I need 338 dollars to so let me write this down here 
So I still need $338 to pay the bills that are budgeted for out of this paycheck. And then my checking account currently has, because I checked this just before I started the video, my checking account balance is 533.10. My buffer account is at its $50. That's exactly what I want it to be. And then my final account is my digital envelopes account. And that is at $30 as it is supposed to be. Okay. So here's an interesting space to be in. I only need $338 and I have 533 in the bank account. So 533.10 minus 338 leaves me with $195. Part of me is really tempted to just put $195 towards my credit card and just say that that's a good enough payment and kind of just take this extra money that I'd already spent overspent in these categories and just take it out of my bonus check from my law firm job and just have it be a wash. However, I really want to try staying on budget more and I intended to pay off that to pay off my final credit card, this Capital One card, the 32570 with my Christmas bonus. So I want to get to the point where I have $325.70 in the bank account to pay that off. So to do that, so I need, oh, what I just had that number, 325.70. I need 325.70 to pay off credit card. So if I subtract the extra money I have currently sitting in the bank, minus 325.70 equals, I need to deposit $130.60 back into the bank to be able to pay off this credit card. So I won't go ahead and worry about doing the full 209. I'll give myself some grace there, but I do need to get hundred and well, $131 back to the bank so that I can pay off this credit card as I intended to. So let's set this calculator aside and let's figure out where this $133, $31 is coming from. So most of these things are gifts. So let's grab the low priority sinking funds binder and see how much money we've got in the gifts envelope. Gifts, 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 where are you? There we are, gifts. So gifts has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. Um, I think I want to try and do 60 from gifts, leaving a little bit of wiggle room here. I think, let's do this math. 131 minus 60, so I have $71 still to make up. Um, where do I want to take that out of? Um, where do I want to take that? Out? Let's take it out of organizing. Let's pull $10 out of here. I don't have any plans on buying any organizing products for a bit. So that means we need 61 more dollars. Um, let's take it out of Kickstarter. So that's 41 more dollars. I'm going to go ahead and go to and see what's in my wallet because I did get a cash tip today and I can just roll that over into and household. So some of the things I bought were legitimately for my house. So let's pull this out of household, this 10. So that's $31 I need to make up, 31. Okay, and then the tip I got today, let's see what we have from my tip for today. All right, so I had 25, six, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, $29. So let's go ahead and let's take 21 out of this 
And then all I gotta do is pull $10 from another envelope. Yes, I need $10 from another envelope. Let's see. Where else do I wanna pull from? Let's pull from Beauty. Let's just take it out of here. Cause it's the first one I saw that had a 10 right in front. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Okay, so let's double check the math and see what we are at. The number is 131, that's what I wanna to get to. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 120, 131, $131, perfect. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is tomorrow, I'm going to stop by the ATM, deposit this $131, and then as soon as that's deposited, I can go ahead and do this payment. So the planned payment amount is gonna be, eh, I'm so distracted by Nova just meowing in the background. The planned payment about is $325.70. And then I will fill those out once I actually make that deposit tomorrow. And guys, this means my last regular credit card will be paid off tomorrow. I will pay off this credit card, which is amazing for me to think about. Like I still have a lot of debt to pay down, but if we come all the way back to my first sheets, in my planner, here we go, here's the debt sheet. Yeah, so all the way back to my very first video where I went over all the debt that I owe. So I've already gone ahead and paid off 500, well, as of tomorrow, I will have paid off $504.04 .04 of this debt, will be completely gone tomorrow, that's amazing. And then I can go ahead and roll over my snowball plus this 20, because my snowball is currently at $51. And I'll go ahead and add this $25 in, which means starting next month, I will be putting an extra, oh, what, 51 plus 25, 76. I will be putting an extra $76 towards this care credit balance because I have to fully pay this off by March of 2025 um, because it's in a deferred no interest period right now. So I've got to have it paid off by then. But with the debt snowball and adding $76 to this 45 to this every month, I'll have this paid off, like off the top of my head guesstimate in 10 months. Before the end of the year, I will have this paid off. And then being able to just roll all of that over into the next one and the next one and the next one. Oh, it feels so amazing to see how concretely I am making practice or making progress. And this system planning everything out like this, doing the cash envelopes, doing the zero-based budget, putting a, every dollar I have to a purpose has made this possible for me. And I am just so freaking happy that I get to pay off this credit card once and for all, and it gets to just be gone and done with. And yeah, it's a pretty good day, you guys. And tomorrow's gonna be an even better day because tomorrow is the day the payment actually comes out. And I'm just, oh God, I'm so excited about that. But I will see you in a couple days because the next video is going to be our um, plan with me video for my December 22nd, I want to say, paycheck from the nail salon. And I've been working 12 hour days, guys. So that's going to be a nice big paycheck, which I kind of need because it's the only way that makes the 12 hour days worth it. Um, and then from there, we've got a cash stuffing at the end of the week and then it's Christmas. This month has just been flying by and uh, yeah, so I will check in with you guys in a couple days with that budget with me video. And in that video, I will confirm for you that I have paid off this credit card and that it is all gone. That'll probably be the very first thing I tell you. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and a great evening and I will talk to you guys in a couple of days. Bye.